Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your Money and Career Tarot reading for February to March 2021 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your Oracle card. What do we have for Cancer please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians, thank you. In Money and Career only, February to March 2021. Oh, interesting. So I have seduction, passion and romance awaits. But, you know, in money and career, it feels for some of you, there is some seduction going on here. Interesting energy. Feels quite positive there, Cancer. What do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for cancer thank you savings okay so practical advice <laughs> this is the angel card so you're being told to focus on savings as you consistently save for your future you your future is saved you do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds this is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. I mean, it might well be there are changes that allow you to, to change in the way you save, set up your long-term security, that kind of energy, uh, something that you've been meaning to do. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to... One second, my microphone is going a bit skew if. Okay, there we go, that's better. So, what is the overarching message or energy for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides, in terms of money and career only. February to March 2021, please. Message for our lovely Cancerians, thank you. Message for Cancer. Okay, oh my goodness, this is you. You are the chariot card. This is the card of Cancer, the chariot. Victory, success by determination. Um, love the energy. I mean, this is somebody in their element when your overarching element appears. So in your element, there is some victory, success coming your way. You know, the chariot can be about A to B, a journey from A, what was to what will be. Uh, some shift. Let's see what else we get, Cancer. So I'm going to pull five cards. Let's move those over slightly. The first card is the current challenge or issue you face. Second card is what's going for you. Third card is essentially what's against you or any obstacles to overcome. Fourth card is advice from spirit. And the fifth card is your outcome. It will resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates for you. And we'll clarify where we need to. I'm just going to take the one that's turned up. So I have the Five of Swords here, Cancer. Five of Swords is in your challenge position. The world, yes. We have the lovers. This is what's against you. Knight of Wands <laughs> is the advice from Spirit. And the Queen of Swords is your outcome, card of Libra. Okay. I love this energy, you know. I'm feel, you know, I'm definitely feeling this pull towards this energy of seduction. I'm, you know, Cancer, what I'm getting here is, I'm getting this energy of, of hot property. <laughs> it is this energy of what you do, you're doing well. I mean, you might find other heads of department might want you to work with them might want to you know this seduce you to come and work with them that kind of energy so that could be in your current business there could be an energy of other companies or headhunters you know just allowing you know wanting to seduce you 
it definitely feels that this energy of hot property <laughs> is coming into my mind, which is making me laugh. Um, but it, it feels for some of you that what you do, you do well. And there is there could be some shift coming your way. Remember, the chariot can be a journey, can be a personal journey, some kind of transition when you're moving from A to B. So you could be moving departments, being seduced to work with somebody else. Um, can also be to do with um, other companies, you know, headhunters, um, communication from past companies telling you about an opportunity. You know, it's that kind of energy. You're just being seduced. It's victory and success here. There is absolutely eyes on the prize, victory, success in the driving seat of your life. I love the energy of this. Again, this practical energy of savings might resonate with some of you. Um, might give you a new perspective. This shift gives you a new perspective in setting up your long-term future, protecting yourself, you know, that kind of energy. The Five of Swords is an interesting one because on the one hand, yes, it can be about conflict or being conflicted. You might be being conflicted because for some of you, it, it feels in the, it doesn't feel a... I mean, you might not be currently happy with where you are, but I'm, I'm getting more of the energy of conflict in the mind, you know, something causing you conflict. And it feels to do with this seduction, you know, having some conflict. I need to make up my mind in how to move forward in a situation because this is the new vision energy. It's still Aquarian energy and the promise of something wonderful with this is Venus in Aquarius. The promise of some kind of new world energy or new direction or new vision or new goal. So, you know, I'm definitely picking up that energy here. It, it feels like something will cause you some conflict and I'm definitely getting that energy, but it doesn't feel like a negative thing, which this can be a lot of the time. The what's going for you is, wow, a sense of achievement some cycle coming to a close and being ready to step through to a new phase of your life. Interestingly, the world card can be about travel. So again, this feeling of journey, transition, moving forward. Um, it definitely feels for some of you that maybe one cycle, big cycle is ending and you have the opportunity to step through to a new phase of your life. Remember, the world card is worldly success. It's a card of success and victory again. Um, so goal achievement, you know, um, accomplishment, very, very beautiful energy, all part of your evolution here. So I'm definitely getting this energy that there is an opportunity to maybe finish where you're working, move department, move jobs, move companies. You're being seduced. You're being seduced. What's against you? It feels, it feels for some of you, I mean, the lovers can be a choice or decision to make. Again, conflicted about the choice or decision here. Again, this can be a communication card as well. It can also be about forging partnerships. You know, again, maybe moving to work with somebody new, like I said, new department, new company, call it what you will. Um, it feels like there's some communi communication coming your way. Someone wanting to establish a new partnership or get you on side in a situation, being seduced. It's that kind of energy. I mean, this can be a kind of seductive energy, can't it? But it feels like it's causing you conflict here. It feels like it's causing you conflict. Or maybe you're conflicted with the current place where you work. You know, you might not be seeing eye to eye in the current place where you work, and that's why you're being seduced to move. Move departments, move jobs. The advice from spirit here, Cancer, is the Knight of Wands, the opportunity, the exciting opportunity coming in that is bringing change. Wow. And the Knight of Wands is just something that is very much connected to your heart and soul. An offer, an opportunity, the seduction, the charisma, the power, the potential, the growth, the success that he offers, you know, um, and it's interesting because this is the Sagittarian energy, which can be about journey. 
So it definitely feels for some of you some kind of opportunity which is opening some kind of new journey for you, some change or transition in terms of your workplace or moving companies. The Queen of Swords, it feels for some of you that you will make up your mind. The outcome, I'm definitely getting some kind of balanced judgment here. Taking everything into account and then definitely making up your mind. She can also be somebody in authority who is communicating to you. And I like the fact that the peacock is on this card because it symbolises abundance. So again, going with this worldly success, next level, there may be a pay rise, more responsibility, um, new title, you know, that kind of energy. But again, we don't normally see the peacock with the queen of, of swords. So it's interesting that this specific card has a peacock, which is a great sign of abundance in tarot. So definitely something that is, it feels like you're making up your mind. There could be communication from somebody who is associated with bringing a greater level of abundance into your life as well. I love the energy of this. I love the energy, Cancer. It feels very beautiful and exciting. And it's interesting because there is an energy with the Queen of Swords of she is very much about she only takes risks. She only goes for what's going to bring her gain, what's going to bring her success. So again, there's just this assessment going on, Cancer, throughout what's been conflicting you in terms of I'm only going to go over here if it feels right, you know, if it if it's going to serve me well, you know, if it's going to bring me gain in some way, shape or form. And it does, it will It'll bring you some kind of success, victory, um, positive transition, positive move. So I love the energy here. Okay, so final message for Cancer, please. Final message for Cancer. Final message for Cancer, please. Yeah, look at this. Oh, I love this card. We have the Golden Unicorn Ascension. This is your Ascension, and it is. Uh, awaken to your soul's potential. This is you stepping into your potential. Again, wands are all about potential. Um, real potential with this change. I love this energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you, Cancer, and I will see you next time. Thank you.